I was going to do an opening gag for this review, but I couldn't really think of anything funnier than this official stock photo of Shuffler, which tells me that Hasbro managed to hire a photographer who doesn't know what an elephant is. Gonna be a big week here on the channel. I've got some new things to announce, a bunch of videos to do, and of course a major convention to go to, my most major ever. But for now, we are going to start small, and small means Titan Masters. And I think we'll start with this one for now. This is Shuffler, based on an original Takara Headmaster. See, over in Japan, they were smart enough to realize those little heads on those Headmaster toys were probably going to be lost by the children playing with them, so let's, re let's release a few that are, you know, just on their own, just in case they need a substitute. You know, and if you think that's not a bad problem, go on eBay and look up what a complete Headmaster costs. It's, uh, it's a little bit scary. So Takara had the right idea, and I think Hasbro had the right idea deciding to make one of the new Titan Masters based on those classic headmasters that we in, in the U.S. never saw. Shuffler looks awesome as a tank. This is something the original definitely could not do. Cast in light gray plastic, a bunch of it painted up here for these what will eventually be guns, and a bunch of purple. He is very nicely colored. He's a little bit Decepticon in coloration, but he is an Autobot, so let's not forget that. It's Gonna be, it's going to be a little bit confusing when we get to uh, some of the other modes. Trust, Well, one in particular. But yeah, this guy makes a pretty cool little double-barreled tank. Who knew the face of an elephant made such a good tank turret? Someone did, and I appreciate it. Uh, what will eventually be the legs do also make very nice big H-tank style tank treads. Looking very futuristic, very powerful, very good. I like all the sweeping angles on here. I like how everything just kind of angles to this direction it's very cool gives it a little bit of a sleek feel even though this is a heavily armed tank and hey the turret even rotates left and right what more could you ask for well the turret also has tusks i could ask for that and i have it already so yeah he's not a bad little thing uh because he is very tiny no wheels or anything to speak of does not roll left to your imagination so very very cool i dig this so i'm going to go ahead and demount his titan master so we can take a look at what is actually shuffler in this set uh, like most titan masters he's left unpainted but fortunately as a standalone release he's got some unique sculpting to him so he stands out a little bit in particular his tiny little head actually has an elephant de uh, design to it you can see the big trunk running down his face and a helmet that does look vaguely like where his tusks would be that's actually kind of cool. It gives a little bit more personality. And then there was a previous one that also had like a lion design. I can't remember who came with it. Someone in the comments will mention it. Uh, that was also really cool. I think he'd go right along with him. And I'm actually wondering if there's a battle beast that looks like that. Now that I think of this. So yeah, the Decepticon portion of this thing always starts looking that way. Fold over the head to create his actual headmaster mode. Bright red eyes and a very menacing look this is where faction can get a little bit confusing but then again i guess that means you can use them as a replacement decepticon head i don't know in case your uh in case your mind wipe loses his head or something that sounds like something he'd do but yeah you can also still see some of that vague elephant detail the trunk uh forming what would be the head crest here that is a design taken straight from the original headmaster that was just elephant to head so this, this is a very nice homage. A lot of the original details are there, and it's a really cool looking head regardless. Abrupt jump cut back to the tank itself so we can actually see what his uh, gun mode looks like, because this guy's got a really good one. And it's a very simple transformation. We fold the trunk up like that. We fold those legs slash turret like that, and then put the handle down. And that gives you this big hand cannon slash missile battery mode. I love the look of this. This is so simple, but it works so well. The molding in there creating the look of a lot of missiles ready to fire off, 12 in total, and you got two gun barrels as well. And then this thing is either a giant hand clip 
Maybe it's an ammo cartridge, whatever your imagination wants it to be. Either way, it's a really cool weapon mode and one that can work pretty much anyone holding it. That's really, really cool. So to finish him off, we're going to go into his actual beast mode, I guess it is. So we're going to go ahead and fold those legs down, tail clips down like so, then head folds down, and we're going to go ahead and stuff his Titan Master in there to fill out his empty socket so he actually has a belly. And there you have Shuffler in his beast mode. And this is, again, his natural mode since this is the what his original Headmaster turned into. And again, it's a really good homage to that figure. Looking up at the head, very small eyes painted in blue. I wish his tusks were painted, but I don't remember his G1 being that way. He gets a little bit of gun barrel there at the tip for the molding and still has missile batteries as well as shoulder-mounted guns. He looks like a war elephant with those big guns hanging off. Like it's just strapped to his back and he's just mowing down Mongol hordes. Unless the Mongols had elephants. Oh god, there's going to be a history guy in the comments that's going to drive me nuts over that. I like that the tail can actually fold down to a more natural angle. So it doesn't look... Because you know, as natural as this elephant looks, little details like that are uh, kind of important to me sometimes. So yes, he is an exceptionally cool little guy. Not much in the means of articulation, because it's just legs that go back and forth, and they're on the same strut, so they can't do a whole lot. And trunk goes up and down. Hey, at least he has a head turn. He's got that. But yeah, at a tiny little price point, he serves pretty well. So we'll get him out of the way and move on to our other Titan Master. This is Repugnus, who's made a cameo, or cameo, full review on this channel already once before, but now he returns in this pint-sized form. And in his vehicle mode, I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what it is. Cast in bright yellow and red plastic. This is exceptionally bright. This is like hot shot red and yellow going on here. And the vehicle mode is supposed to be, I don't know, do you want to call it a jet? Because he's got these thrusters on the back, so he's got that molded in for him. But He's not the most aerodynamic thing of all time. Actually, with the shape here, he looks like a boat. Like, these would be, like, pontoons. Or, like, he's, like, a ski boat or a jet ski or maybe a snowmobile. I don't honestly know. This is a vehicle mode that screams to me, good enough, uh, I guess. Because we've, uh, we really want to do Repugnus, but I don't know what to actually turn him into. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. He seems like a little bit more of an afterthought in the vehicle mode. And there's not a whole lot of play value to the vehicle mode. It's not as impressive as double-barreled can, you know, cannon tank with rotating turret trunk thing. No, this guy's just kind of there. At least his little face spikes makes for some interesting detail. It seems like he could go on the attack if he really wanted to. So, not a whole lot to the actual vehicle mode. Let's put him aside and we'll go ahead and take a look at the Titan Master himself. Now, again, same bright colors. Again, he's got a little bit of unique molding to him, but hey, he actually has some face paint because Repugnus is known for big, bright yellow face. So, of course, this tiny one had to replicate that. And it's kind of a tiny version of his typical face anyway, and I can prove that by transforming the head and bringing it up. And there's pretty much the same face going on. Again, nothing but yellow with some big green eyes. This is a little bit stark for a replacement head, I will admit. I'm not entirely sure who it would actually work for, but the option is there. At least this way it looks different from some of the other heads, I guess. So, it's variety. I will give it that. So, that head aside, go in and see what else this guy does. He has a weapon mode as well, though it's uh, just as confounding to me. I'm going to fold these down. Fold up the uh, wings into blades. Fold these down just so it has a spot to rest on, I guess. And then for the head, I need to extend this out so I can actually get to the handle. The handle itself tucked way into the head. It's a little bit hard to get to. There's a little bit of thing to hook your fingernail on. I don't really have luck with those lately. I should probably stop trimming my nails before reviews. <laughs> Close that back up, and that's basically what our blade mode looks like. Not great. Not great. Uh, once again, it feels like this is just what we could do. It feels like 
let's stick a let's stick a wing pack on him and then just flip it around and hope imagination takes over cuz similar to the jet ski mode or whatever mode it was where the blades didn't really hold up the weight so he kind of went at an angle here the blades also come at an angle so it's not a straight on weapon you can look at the back of the molding where it looks like all of this is supposed to fit in together you can see where the gaps and the exposed parts all seem like they're supposed to interlock together like a big giant set of friction tabs but i can't get them to come together come together right now over eight no it's not going uh, so yeah, it's just left at an angle like that, which is unfortunate. He just looks like a he looks like a bug that hit the windshield. That's really all he looks like in this mode. So unfortunate, unfortunate. So how about one last try? Let's get him to his actual beast mode, and we'll see what could be. Oh hey, you're not wanting to cooperate at all, are you? Tiny little toys, tiny little hinges. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stuff. The little t Repugnus in there. He kind of mounts in like Star Sabers, little guy. That's kind of neat. So, tuck all that in. And, of course, this is where the little bug is far more familiar. This is Repugnus as we know him. This gigantic upright cockroach thing. And this is where I kind of prefer him. Uh, similar to ones like Fangry, I get a lot of charm out of seeing little tiny versions of these G1 characters especially the oddball ones like this. Look at that. It's such a good representation of his G1 head. I love it. Big eyes, the big brown helmet. Works really, really well. And hey, he's got a better flight pack than the old one had. I will give him that at least. So, yeah, the big monstrosity here. I still love this little guy. It's just a weird design I quite enjoy. I like his little pincer hands can move up and down independently. They didn't, they didn't feel the need to... Have them all on one long rail. His legs still do that, so his legs are stuck moving in the same direction all the time. But hey, at least you have that. One thing about him, his Titan Master doesn't really peg in all that well. It's really just the head of the bug mode holding him in. Beyond that, you know, there's nothing really securing him inside his own vehicle. Strangely enough, you also have two pegs down here that no mode uses. He uses these two in the back for the vehicle mode, but these don't really come into play in any mode. You can fan mode something out of them, and it's a little weird, but it seems like redundant parts or something meant for a possible retool, like if the core of this toy was you know, actually designed to work with another mold of some kind. We haven't seen anything to the uh, to the effect yet. You know, if uh, at the last minute, if Hasbro wants to throw like a grow tusk at me I, out of this mold, I wouldn't mind. Extensive remold, remold all the red parts anyway. But beyond that, he's uh, yeah, he's still not a bad little guy. I like <laughs> I like having such a weird design and such a tiny size. So uh, what do we think here? Well, I think. Uh, Repugnus comes up as we really want to do Repugnus, but we're not quite sure what else to do with his form. Both vehicle and weapon modes kind of feel like afterthoughts. So he's uninspired, but I find that his, com his combined and his complete mode uh, rather charming at that size. And then you have Shuffler, who I'm pretty much ready to call the best in this entire line, uh, at least as far as this size class goes. He's got a lot of character to him because his... Standby mode is not just your standard old vehicle. Uh, he uh, His head mode looks really cool. Works on Autobot or Decepticon. And all three of his modes are absolutely awesome. And of, luckily, this is one of those that got remolded recently into Ramhorn. So you have more chances to obtain such a cool mold. Beyond that, yeah. Um, I like both of these guys, but it's very clear who the winner in this matchup is.